Welcome to my 24 week bump day. We have finally reached viability. Oh, that's just such a huge breath of relief because that's just another mile marker that I have just been so anxious to get to. So to be here is just such a great feeling and ah, 24 weeks. Okay, so as far as symptoms this week, there have been some new stuff and then stuff that has just been more intense and this and that and that, whatever. So first off, my hunger is outrageous. Like, I cannot get enough food. I'm so hungry all the time. And I have a really bad sweet tooth, which is something I don't want to have, but I totally have it and I cannot help it. I want sweets so bad, it's ridiculous. And like this morning, so this is just going back to the regular hunger part, um, James usually gets up around 4.30 for work and he leaves usually right around 5. I always wake up for a little bit. I mean, I'd lay in bed the whole time, but I always, you know, wake up to tell him bye and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, he was about to walk downstairs and I was like, can you bring me up a bowl of Lucky Charms? I'm starving. I was so hungry and I knew that if he didn't bring me up food, I was just gonna wake up and like go get food myself because I was hungry. So I ate a bowl of Lucky Charms at 4.45 this morning and it was amazing. Okay, so next, acid reflux still sucks. It's not a fun feeling. And you know, if you eat and then, you know, 45 minutes later I'm like bending down doing something, ugh, just ugh, yuck, 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 yuck. And it seems to be worse at night, and it also seems to be worse when I eat sweets. Which is convenient because I'm craving them, so hey, what are you gonna do? Okay, the next, this is a really weird thing that has been happening just the past couple of nights. Um, I've had a weird, like, it almost feels like a muscle that's quivering in my calf on my right leg, and I have no idea what that is. I started looking it up, and everything was going to, like, restless leg syndrome, which can happen when you're pregnant, so I don't know if that's what it is or if I just had a weird quivering muscle or something, <laughs> but it's... It, it's not that it was uncomfortable, it's just annoying and trying to sleep at night when it's doing that is just like I feel like I keep having to move my legs, so maybe it is restless leg syndrome. I don't know. Okay, and then probably the last like big symptom thing that I've been having the past week is um, normally I would get up in the middle of the night once to go to the bathroom and now it's more like two or three times. So I'm definitely getting used to waking up constantly throughout the night and um, getting up and going to the bathroom and then it takes a while to go back to sleep. So sleep just isn't quite there where I would like it, but at the same time I think that's just kind of my body preparing me for what it's going to be like later. So hey, it's okay. It's all good. And then the most fun thing this week was just all of his movements and his little punches and his little kicks and they're so sweet. Also, can I say my pet peeve real quick? And I'm not trying to offend anybody when I say this because I myself have been guilty of doing this exact thing but anytime like this you know this covers like my family my friends anybody I've ever talked to about pregnancy stuff I'll be like oh I love his little kicks or oh this is so sweet whatever and everybody just goes oh you just wait and I'm over here like guys I know that he's gonna get bigger and I know that it's gonna hurt, and I know that I'm gonna be like, ouch, get your elbow, your knee out of my belly, ouch, you're hurting me. I know it's gonna get to that point. I am very well aware that it will get there, but while it's still little and cute, I just wanna enjoy it. So instead of telling me, oh, you just wait, just be like, oh, that's so sweet. You know, like, I don't understand why people do that all the time. And I'm not like calling anybody out on that, I'm just, saying because like everybody seems to say that and I'm like whoa guys calm it down I know I just let me enjoy this while I can okay so that was my little rant sorry about that but anyway um I also if you guys didn't watch my vlog from Monday it went up Tuesday I got a package in my PO box and I have no idea who it's from so if you sent me a package Look at that, see if it's yours, and let me know so that I can, you know, like send you a thank you card or thank you or <laughs> anything, because I just, or I guess if you don't want me to know it's you, that's okay too. But um, 
I would just like to thank whoever sent it to me because I'm really, really grateful for everything that you sent. I loved it. Also, also, I feel like I just have a lot of additional side notes onto this bump date, but I, this probably goes along with symptoms a little bit too. Um, because my belly's growing, it pushes up on my bras, which is pushing underwire into my ribs, which really, really hurts. And that's not a problem that I ever thought about. Uh, I didn't ever think that would be an issue, not even something that would cross my mind. So now it's like, wow, all of my bras are so uncomfortable because they have underwire that's digging into my ribs. And if you guys don't know what that's like, take a hanger and jab yourself in the ribs for like 12 hours straight. That's pretty much what it feels like. So to try to help with that problem, I was just at Walmart yesterday. I feel like I'm always at Walmart. I don't even like Walmart. Anyways, um, and I walked by their, just like their bra section on the way to some stuff and I was like, actually, you know, like a couple cheap bras might not be a bad idea. So I ended up getting this brand. This is the brand, I took off the tag. So it's um, the No Boundaries Best Bra Ever, and I got two of them. And basically, they just look like this. They have no underwire, and also this back part is nice and thick. That's another problem I'm having because um, as I'm gaining weight, there's extra weight on my back, which are making the back straps tighter, which kind of makes me look like I have back rolls, and that's really gross. <laughs> the joys of pregnancy. But um, this has a nice wide back strap, so it doesn't really pinch all that so much. And I love this bra. And I also got one in black with some lacy stuff on it. But I know that they're not the cutest things ever, but honestly, bras are just painful right now. So whatever I can wear that works, um, the only thing I would say about these is that if you are a bigger busted lady, it's probably not going to work for you because, I mean, these are pretty thin, stretchy straps. There's not a ton of support. So if you're somebody who needs support, um, you know, a lot of support, it's probably not the best. But for me, who I don't have a lot going on here, even though they're bigger, still not a lot happening. So, um, it works perfectly and I love them. And then the last exciting thing, so I don't talk your guys' ears off, you know, forever. Um, I finally got the fabric in that I ordered for his nursery and I got junk on it already. Gross. Anyways, this is what it looks like. It's like a mint-ish color, which is going to be one of the colors of his room. It's like this aqua-y mint, whatever you want to call it. And he does have a nautical themed nursery. So um, I'm so excited though. This is what I'm going to make the crib skirt with. And then people were asking if I'm going to do crib sheets and the blanket and stuff like that. My aunt is actually making the crib blanket. And then um, I don't think I'm going to do sheets simply for the fact that I don't want everything to be like super matchy matchy. I like a little bit of a, a difference in things. And not only that, it's really not that much less expensive to make a sheet than it is to buy a sheet. In fact, it's a little bit more if you want special fabric. So I think I'm just going to get some of like the Target Chevron, gray Chevron sheets to go with it because his nursery colors are that mint color, gray, and little pops of orange. So I think I'm just going to buy them. I was asked to do a tutorial on how to do the crib skirt. I have never made a crib skirt before. So I can attempt to make a tutorial, but I can't promise anything because I can't guarantee it's going to turn out. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, I will stop talking about all of this and show you my belly. So that is my 24 week bump date and bump. I hope you guys are having such a good week 
and I will see you next week in my vlogs and in my next bump date. I'm thinking about you guys and praying for you and I will see you soon. Bye.